So if you select on the solution fields, this is the, uh, the sort of um, user interface that you're presented with, and you've got all of your filters here um, to be choosing from. And all I've done here is I've seeded basically um, particle traces at the inlet and the outlet. And that can simply be done by pressing the big plus on the particle traces. And you can vary the parameters if you like. Um, for example, the radius of the tubes or indeed the, um, the actual coarseness of that seeding. like so. And that just um, gives you a demonstration of how we can actually analyze the results within our turbine. So a question for you, Darren. Sure. Um, why is that useful? This is useful because we can actually look into detail on how the, uh, the flow is moving around our geometry, how it's interacting with the blades, um, if it's correctly um, being guided around, which we can see actually it's being deflected by our, um, our status here and guided straight into the turbine blades, which we can see running straight up the middle. And then we can follow it all the way out of, a, of the, um, the duct, all the way to the outlet. And this helps us understand where recirculation zones may occur, uh, where any efficiencies might occur. And we've got a whole host of other um, uh, filters that we could use to actually further understand the flow. Uh, for example, we can apply cutting planes, um, to actually analyze any turbulence properties, um, velocity magnitudes, and we can also um, post-process further offline to actually get things like cavitation number where we can determine where cavitation is actually likely to occur.